For the back skirt, we are going to follow the same step that we use in draping the front. So here I have my back skirt fabric and what I did before was to follow the hip line like we did for the front. We're going to repeat that same step as well for the back. So I'm just going to pin that in place, first of all, to secure my back pattern piece. And once that is secured, we can follow the same step that we did for the front. Once you're done pressing your front and back skirt, what you need to do is to get your pattern master and your pencil, but this time I'm using my um, marker. This is just for demonstration purposes, like I said earlier on. Um, so once you have that, you need to true in all your lines. So we need to use our pattern master to correct or true in all the broken or dashed lines that we've got here so we're just going to use our pattern master to make sure we have it on a nice straight or curve line so like this we're just going to true that in with our pattern master so it's a bit neater than we have so we're just going to do that on all the lines make sure it is neatly done and you are good to go. Once you're done throwing all your lines, the next thing we need to do is to get your pattern paper. Make sure it's wide enough for your pattern pieces. So once you have that, you're just gonna get each of your pattern so i'm first of all going to place the back skirt onto our pattern paper i've drawn a vertical line on my pattern paper this is just to give me uh, a nice and straight position to lay my pattern on so once that is done i am going to align the skirt pattern onto that vertical line and that is giving me the center back once that is done, I'm going to get my tracing wheel. This is where you need your tracing wheel. You can get like a pattern weight on top of your pattern piece, or you can use your pin to secure that. I'm just going to use my pattern weight to secure my pattern onto my pattern paper. So once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to use my tracing wheel to trace round the edges of my skirt. Once that is done, I'm going to use my pencil to again retrace those lines. Once that is done, I'm going to add my seam allowance and there my pattern is done. So I'm going to repeat that for the front pattern piece as well. So I'm just going to start now. So I'm done tracing my back skirt and adding my one centimeter seam allowance. Feel free to use whatever seam allowance you want, but I'm using one centimeter for mine. When it comes to the back skirt, you need to remember that you are going to add um, seam allowance at the center back. So this is the center back, this line here. You have your center back. 
so what we need to do is to add whatever seam allowance you whatever amount of seam allowance you need but for mine for the purpose of this video i am also going to add one centimeter seam allowance at the back so you have a pair of the back skirt when it comes to the front you are going to place the front on fold and when it comes to that i'm going to show you how to do that but for the back we need to add seam allowance um at the center back so this is my front skirt i am going to get that out and align that to my onto my pattern paper but before i do that i'm just gonna draw a vertical line that will give me my straight grain So once I have that, I'm going to place my pattern piece onto, just align that onto the vertical line, like so. Once I'm happy with that, I am going to get my pattern weight, or you can get your pin to pin around your pattern piece, but I'm just going to do this either way, as long as your pattern is well secured onto your pattern paper, that's fine. So once that's well aligned, I'm going to get my tracing bill like we did before. I'm going to trace around the edge of our skirt and add my seam allowance once I'm done. So I am done tracing off my skirt block, both the front and the back on my pattern paper. So I've added all my markings, which um, includes the grain line. And as you can see um, on my front pattern piece, I have the place on fold um, mark. So you need to make sure your front pattern piece is placed on fold. Yeah, so that's why we have this place on fold. Um, diagram or mark on it then um, we have of course our green line and the name of the pattern don't forget that so once you're happy with that you're going to repeat the same for the back but remember the back is not placed on full the back you have to cut that in um, in a pair remember you have your seam allowance at the center back and you've got your straight grain so once that is done get your fabric out and you're good to cut your fabric out